Welcome back to Grown Kids TV with myself, Mike, and Lindsay. You saw it in the thumbnail, you see it here. We finally got on the Mystery Grail Box train. Stay tuned. All right, so you see the giant box here. We ordered four of these, and seven bucks a pop found a very clever way to sell a lot of their common pops. Yep. So they introduced this mystery grail box where they do like over a thousand boxes per run and they have a certain amount of mid and high level grails in there. But one of the cool things is that they also have little scratch off things where you can win tokens. I don't know what else you can win, but we'll find out maybe. And in the seven bucks a pop style, right, they have candy in here. Yep. They have the gum that Tyla loves. Yep. Ooh. And the best part of the marketing for this are these boxes. These boxes are really awesome. So good news and bad news about these. Good news is they have these awesome boxes. Yep. The bad news is... Bad news is there's an unlikely chance that we're going to get a grail. There's an unlikely chance that we'll even make our money back. Yeah, but we had to give it a try at least once. Yeah, these are a really cool idea. It's fun. They're hit or miss style. There's a lot of misses, but they do also have the little scratch off tickets. So you can win pop protectors, maybe some pop armors. That would be amazing. Oh yeah. And if you save up enough, and I think if these average like one to 200, uh, what was it tokens? I think that's what they're called. Like 100, 200 tokens. It only takes like, $4,000 worth of boxes to be able to get the 36 inch Freddy Funko. We've already done the math because we already know like that would be the ultimate goal if we were going to save up our points. And some of these, they come with like thousand coins or thousand tokens, something like that. Yeah, so you never know. We don't know what to expect in these besides some sort of candy, a scratch off and a Funko, possibly a common, possibly a big hit. You never know. All right. But if it is a good hit, it'll have like a post note on it, like yep. a little star sticker or something. Yeah. When these first came out, there was a couple weeks where we never saw anybody get a hit. But as time's going on, we have seen a couple people get different hits. I don't even know what the hits are, like what the possibilities are. Oh yeah, that's one reason I picked this week. Oh, okay. So I gotta remember what they are, let me see. Um, I really like this little bunny looking mummy guy. But it also looks like a pig. Bunny pig mummy. So in the lower level hits, like the 50 to 100 or 40 to 100 dollar range, there's like Boo Berry Wood Cereal, which is mm -hmm. a cool one. We have them. Hero, Hero Killer Stain. There's a Powerpuff Girl, looks like Bubbles. Uh, there's a bunch of pretty good fun hits. V for Vendetta's in there. That's a pretty wow, expensive yeah. pop. Uh, there's a couple signature ones. There's what well, looks like Supersonic. It's kind of like a blurry picture for me. But the main one from that level is the Batman Imperial Metallic. Oh yeah, because we got the Joker. Well, we ordered the Joker. Yeah, Joker's on the way. So that would be cool to have that one. And then the like Grails are Captain America, Dr. Manhattan, Golden Frieza, and Russell. We love Russell! We do love Russell. We're actually watching a video earlier of an old PSP slash PS2 game of Up, and it was super adorable. It was really cute. I was like, we should go buy a PS2 right now just so we can play that game. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the premium grails. And then the mega grails are Freddy Funko as Big Boy. Okay, which yep. I would love because we had that, we gave it away, and after we gave it away, it shot up in value $200. So it doubled its value. That one's so cute. And then the other one oh, man. is the Robin Imperial Metallic, but the Chase version. So there's, what, 400 of those or something in the world? Who knows? So people are like buying those for between $500 and $1,000. Wow. But it's just fun, right? We want to do this. These are great wins that could be in there. Yeah. Not necessarily going to be in there, right? There's like 1,500 boxes or something. There's a lot of boxes. And there's like 40 wins. So your odds are pretty low, but it's worth a shot. It's a fun It's a fun time. Yeah. And you can order four at a time. That's why you got these four. And then you get in single shipping type thing. So I'll go first. Okay, and we'll pull out the pop and then we'll show, we'll do the tickets afterwards. Okay, so here's how it looks. 
And we only know this because we saw it on other people's channels. But then you open it up. Oh, oh that's pretty cute. That's from South Park. So it's Philip from South Park. And here's your scratch off. What is really cool is each of them come in a seven bucks a pop, uh, little pop protector. Oh, so nice. I got a sugar daddy. Oh, nice. So it's not always the gum. I, I wonder what I'll get. Okay, okay. I'm running, knocking into things. Yeah, we'll go over values and then we'll do our scratch offs afterwards. Uh, we'll go with this one. Okay, so open it like this. Oh, what is that? Oh, we got him a long time ago. Yeah. From Kingdom Hearts. Oh, he's upside down. This is Halloween Town Sora. And we, I remember really liking this mold because of obviously the pumpkin on his head. Yeah, that is a cool mold. I remember that one. And I don't even think it is a pumpkin, but it's super cute. It's like a little orange demon looking guy. So it's I don't a know. pumpkin to me. Yeah. I bought Kingdom Hearts 3 with the intention of playing it because it had Toy Story characters. Oh yeah. And I think it's still sitting new sealed in the other room like a couple years later. Um, yeah, he's probably right. And but got, I got a sugar daddy as well. Okay. Third. Ooh. So it would be cool if we get one hit out of this. Yeah. That'd make it easier to do another round of these. Yeah, absolutely. They sell them every Sunday, 3.30 p.m. I think. Okay, so not a hit. I don't know why it turned upside down every time. I can't. Oh, so sugar daddy. <laughs> oh, it's office space. It's oh, Peter nice. Gibbons. I couldn't really see it in the... The video, right? Office Space Peter Gimmins, uh, obviously one of the best movies of work of all time. And I mean, we say things from this movie all the time, uh, and you make jokes about this movie all the time, and you have no idea that it's that. Like, Probably somebody's right. got a case of the Mondays, or how much flair do you want me to wear? You know, stuff like that. That. Do I have a grill in here? Yeah, odds are really low. All right, let's find out. No grail. We don't. But. Oh, it's a pretty cool one. 10th Doctor Regeneration Glow in the Dark. It's a Think Geek exclusive. Oh, that's awesome. Especially the Think Geek being gone now. Yeah. At least around us. Yeah, I don't know if that's everywhere, but. And there's your sugar daddy. I was kind of hoping for some gum. I'm not going to lie, but. If you guys know, like if you guys know if Think Geek is still around uh, or if they're all getting shut down, let us know in the comments. Yeah. We like Think Geek. All right, so we gave our shot at the Mystery Grill, and we're gonna be, we're gonna let you know how much we spent. So I believe these are $15 a piece. It might be $4 shipping. So overall, this cost $76, like final value. Okay. And we don't count shipping against them. Nope. So we're just gonna use $15 a piece to figure out how much we lost or possibly gained on any of these. So we'll be right back. All right, back from poppriceguide.com. And remember, these boxes are $15 a piece. So we spent $15 on each of these, not counting shipping. And this guy's worth $10, so uh, down five. This guy's worth $10, down another five. How'd you work out? Good news on my side. Uh, Halloween Town Sora is $22. And 10th Doctor Regeneration is $26. So we actually came out on top on these boxes. We weren't expecting that. We were kind of expecting like four pops that were about Five this. to $12. Yeah. So we, we did pretty good. We counted $68 total yep. on $60. So we are probably gonna give these another shot, but we're not gonna do them every week. Most likely, we're gonna wait until it's a good set. For example, this one had those Imperial Metallics that I love. Yeah. And it had if, Freddy as big boy. If, we, if there's grails that were really like wanting to give a shot to try to get, then that's probably when we'll go after these again. So we have our scratch and wins here. And what you do is you scratch these off, you go online, you enter the code and you can build up your points and then get something awesome off their site. Also, it looks like you can directly win prizes and gift cards as well. Let's hope for something awesome. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, I got the base level. I think it's the base level of 200 tokens. Okay. By the way, we're using our lucky chomp coin. And, oh, a thousand tokens. Nice! We only need 63,000 more, so I forget exactly how much we it is. We can do it. All right. 
200 tokens, and 500 tokens. Okay, so not too bad. Yeah. A total of... 1,900? Yeah, pretty good math skills. I you? used my brain. 1,900 tokens. With 100 more tokens, we could get a classic edition chomp. That's something that we could get. We could get a two-pack pop shield armor, or we can get Macho Man and Ultimate Warrior, little people. <laughs> uh, and we'll put a picture up here of that Freddy. I'm sure somebody will get it before us because this is our first time getting these boxes. Yeah. And we're not going to be buying them too often. It'd be cool if we just scratched one of these off and it was just like 60,000 tokens. That would be so cool. But overall, awesome marketing, awesome idea. It is a lot of fun. Uh, it's a good box if you just want to get a shot at a pop. And it's low priced overall. It's like twenty dollars to get shipped to your house. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. And, and it comes with a sugar are so daddy, fun. some scratch offs, a Funko Pop, which you could. We're fifty fifty on making our money back, including shipping. These two are above shipping, so that's pretty good. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that at all. Yeah, so we'll we'll definitely give another shot. We do love seven bucks pop. We've been watching their their drops lately because they dropped. And I didn't even mention this to anybody. I'm too sad about it. They dropped the Raphael Freddy Funko. And it wasn't the best condition. It was like a 6.5 or something, and you can't see the pictures. But I think they only wanted like $1,100 for it. It was something that was way lower than we would ever get it for. At, online on eBay, people are always asking two to $3,000, if not more, for those. Yep. And I was like, how perfect, because I love Freddy Funko. I love Raph. Freddy Funko Raph. And I made the decision right there. I said, it had been on a site for like three or four minutes. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy it. And then when I made that decision, I went back in. It was gone. I felt so bad. I, I finally, I just, because I never do that. I never just say, I'm going to buy this grail. Yeah, we never do that. Rarely. Okay, yeah, think, yeah. rare, Very rarely. I think the last time I bought a grail for myself, it was the Joker Metallic 1966. Okay, but that was a long time ago. And other than that, pretty much like, you know, yeah, that was a long time ago. Uh, birthdays and stuff like that is when we give it, when we spoil each other, but yep. rarely do we just buy a grill. But that one would have been so awesome. Yeah, especially some, that would have been the most we've ever spent on a Funko Pop. Yeah. That'd be the most, probably after taxes, be the most we've ever spent on any Funko product, including Pop King Paul's $1,200 box. That's a fair point, yeah. And speaking of Pop King Paul, Upcoming videos, so make sure you subscribe. Upcoming videos, Pop King Paul, $150 box. I got one. I also got one. So we each got one of those because we missed out on the $500 box. They might have been $125, I don't know, somewhere in yeah, there. Yeah, right? so it was a lower, but it was a $100-ish box. We missed out on the $500 box, so we each bought one of those. Yep. We got a Smy $200 box coming up. We got a Funko King's $500 box come up. We haven't got Jay Navo in a while, so I went on his site today, 7.30, because we're filming this on Sunday, and we picked up a Jay Navo Funko Pop Mystery Box. So there's lots coming. There is, so don't forget to subscribe. And we also still have that crazy, like, thing. It's not really a Funko Pop. The triply weird guy. I already forgot about that it. That we bought off seven bucks a pop. Oh, maybe that'll be here soon. Oh, man, that would be amazing. Let's do a whole video just looking at it. <laughs> All right. So thank you, mysterygrail.com, via seven bucks a pop. More fun than I thought it was going to be. It's actually pretty fun. I even if it was just the you know the lower end pops, it would have been fun. But it was even more fun than I thought. Just by the scratch offs, the candy. This is good marketing. I'm definitely glad we gave it a shot. Yeah. They won us over by that box. Yeah, twenty bucks. If you guys are interested, go over to mysterygrail.com. Follow them on Instagram. I'm pretty sure it's. 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time every Sunday. So thank you guys for watching. This is Grown Kids TV. We'll see you later.